now we'll talk about the next question now this is the question number 4th which part of the cell contains organelles the question is which part like they are asking where the cell organelles are present this is answer number 4th and all the cell organelles are present inside the cytoplasm so cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm this was a very small answer uh, question and now we will talk about the next question which is question number 5th now it, is, it says that make sketches of animal and plant cells and state three differences between them but we have already discussed this in the beginning of the chapter only so I don't feel that it has to be done again we now very well know at the end of this topic we very well know the structure of the plant and the animal cell along with their differences and just for a revision or just what is there in the plant and what is not there in the plant cell if we talk about the basic structure a very big vacuole is present inside the plant cell and this gives a clear identification that this is a plant cell due to the presence of the plant the vacuole a big centrally placed vacuole the nucleus in a plant cell moves to the periphery whereas in the animal cell the nucleus is present in the center now along with this is certain the cell membrane is present in both but cell wall is present only in the plant cells whereas in the animal cell the cell wall is absent cell membrane is present in both the cells the plant and the animal cells but the cell wall is absent in the animal cells then when we talk about the cytoplasm it is present in both these structures and now when we talk about the next the plastids are absent in the animal cell plastids are absent in the animal cell where is a different kind of plastids are present in the plant cells then the presence of cell wall as already discussed the that the, the cell wall is present in the plant cell and when we talk about the vacuoles it is not the case that the vacuoles are absent in the animal cell but the size of the vacuoles are quite small in the animal cells and in the, even the number if we talk about it is not like much so these are the major differences which is uh, seen in a plant and an animal cell so we won't be writing uh, we, we won't be or I won't be writing this on the blackboard as we have already discussed this thing so now question fifth is omitted and now I will move to the question number six state the difference between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes just before this uh, discussion of the question answers we have discussed the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell the differences and even we have discussed the uh, structure the diagram of the prokaryotes so again I do not feel that the sixth question has to be repeated now question number 7 please come to question number 7 this states that where are chromosomes found in a cell and state their function first of all chromosomes are found in the nucleus and for the next part uh, state their function just now we have discussed that chromosomes are found in the nucleus and the function of the chromosome is to transfer the genetic traits from one generation to the another generation the number of the chromosome is different in all these species the number of the chromosome is different in different species but the presence of the genes decides the characteristic features of the organism say for example if you talk about the cat family the lion the tiger and the cat all these three have 48 chromosomes in them but still all these three are quite different from each other why these are different because of the position of the genes so when we talk about the chromosomes what are the chromosomes these are 
thread like structure which are present in the nucleus and plays a very important role in the cell division or the transfer of the traits from one generation to another generation. Uh, actually on these chromosomes the uh, very minute structures are present which are known as genes and these genes decides the characteristics of the species. So, the number of the species, the number of the chromosome also varies from the organism to the organism. So, we are talking about, we have left question number 5th and we have also left the question number 6. Now, we are talking about answer number 7. So, it is where are the chromosomes found in a cell? So, chromosomes are are found in the nucleus. These are thread like structure. and have minute structure on it which is known as genes which is known this is known as genes and these genes are genes are responsible for the transfer of genetic material from one generation to another. So, this is all about the chromosomes and always remember the number of the chromosomes are fixed in all the species. All species will have different different uh, chromosome numbers and the characteristics which uh, is decided or the one which is responsible for deciding the characteristic features are the genes. With this we will move to the next question which is question number 8 now. Answer 8. Cells are the basic structural units of living organism. Explain. Cells are the basic structural units of living organism. Explain. Now we have discussed this thing many a times that a cell is the one which makes any living organism. Cell is the smallest living part of any organism and when many cells combine they form tissues and tissues form organs and organs form organ system and organ system forms body. Now when we talk about body we talk about you know in a reverse manner. So what will be there when we talk about a body how body is made? Body is made up of different different organs if we talk about human body hence legs then maybe the lungs the whatever the different organs makes the body but these organs are not placed separately first of all the body has different organ systems like maybe respiratory digestive reproductive all the systems are there now what makes the systems definitely the different organs makes the system now organs what are organs when the different tissues when the different tissues but different tissues means what when these when the same kind of tissues I'm saying different tissues means same kind of tissue it doesn't mean that actually different different kind of tissues are present and when the same kind of tissues 
they come together and they are involved in a particular or the same kind of a work function then they make the organs and these tissues are made up of cells so uh, i think this is clear in both the way that cell are the basic structure because the this is these are the minute structure these are the one which is all cell have the cell organelles and these cell organelles are responsible for the definite and specific work because of these organelles only the system works if we talk about growth how the growth takes place because the cell divides the number of these cell divides that means who is dividing again the cell is dividing when you grow you do not uh, your hands and legs or the heart and lungs do not increase in number that you are in, you are increasing in size it doesn't means that you will have four lungs and two hearts then what is increasing your body structure remains same but the 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 number of these cells increases and thus the body increases so this is the reason the uh, cell is known as basic and the structural and the functional unit of a cell so just i'll read the question once cell are the basic structural unit of living organism explain so a cell is a smallest functional unit of life an organism grow due to the increase in the number of the cell not only growth you talk about any function we'll discuss this also in detail that Uh, whatever you talk about even the reproduction or the growth or the respiration or the any kind of cell any kind of function if you talk about all these functions comes into existence because of the working of the cell if cell doesn't works then how the tissues will be formed if tissues won't be formed how the organs will be formed and how organ system and a body will be formed so uh cell only combines and forms tissue i'm not elaborating this please elaborate this that tissue when they combine is organ are formed then organ system is formed and then a body is formed that means what a cell is responsible for all the functions in the body a cell has different organelles which have fixed functions which makes the body work which makes the body work you know this is the question in which we can write even pages and pages because lot of elaboration is possible in this question lot of explanation can be given one point can be elaborated uh, or you know explained uh, to different from different angles 
but here I have tried to write in short and to cover few points but this answer specifically when I am talking about the answer and telling specifically about this answer that this is not a complete answer in a sense that this is a sentence that a cell is a basic and structural end of life explain this is the statement which can be explained in very uh, different ways and even uh, if we talk about the length wise it can extend to a great level. So, uh, include all the points which you feel to write in this. With this we will move to the next question which is question number 9. Explain why chloroplast are found only in plant cells. Now, there is no place to write again I will have to rub the board, but we will discuss about the chloroplast. What are the chloroplast? Now, these are responsible what is the question? Uh, explain why chloroplasts are found in plant cells. We have discussed about the chloroplast also chloroplast uh, contains chlorophyll and chlorophyll you all know now the importance of the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very very important when we talk about the manufacture of the food that means the process of photosynthesis. Now, what is the meaning of photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process in which the plants prepare their own food. In presence of what they take carbon dioxide, water, nutrients and in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll this chlorophyll we are talking about and then the glucose is made which remains which is utilized by the plant to get energy and even it remains in a stored form in the plants. So, if chloroplast will not be there how the plants will be able to make their food. So, we can understand the importance of the chloroplast as the chloroplast are the one which contains the chlorophyll and that is the reason why the green plants are able to make their own food. So, uh, please note this and now I will be writing the next answer. We are talking about question number 9 and definitely I will be writing here answer. So, answer number 9. Explain why chloroplasts are found only in plant cells. So, we have discussed this chloroplasts are found in plant cell because plant are autotrophs. They make their own food, they do not depend upon any other organism for their food. Chloroplast contains what? Chloroplast contains Chloroplast contains chlorophyll. Now, this chlorophyll is responsible for what it is responsible for trapping of sunlight. So, chlorophyll traps the sunlight, sunlight and convert in chemical energy. That means the photosynthesis, the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is possible only due to the chloroplast chloroplast as plants are autotrophs they need chlorophyll to to make their own food is not it. So, chloroplast is very very important as they contain chlorophyll and this green pigment traps the sunlight and convert helps to convert in the chemical energy. How? Again the process of photosynthesis takes place only because of the presence of the chlorophyll. 
So this is how the chloroplast is very very important and it is present only in the plant cells. The reason is because the plants are autotrophs. They need to prepare their own food. They do not depend upon any other organism for their food. You can even write this point that the plants are autotrophs so they do not depend upon their any other organism for their food. They prepare their own food for that they need chlorophyll or chloroplast cells. Now come to the question number 10, probably this is the last question of this NCRT topic. We are talking about answer 10, ok what is this, it is the complete the crossword with the help of the clues, clues given below. I am reading the number 1, this is necessary for photosynthesis, so just now we discuss what is necessary for um, photosynthesis obviously the chlorophyll, chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Now I will, I will read number wise because I cannot go random children, I will read across and down all together. So first of all this the first one is this is necessary for photosynthesis that means this is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very important for the uh, manufacture of food by the plants. Second is formed by collection of tissues. The cells make the tissues and the tissues makes the organs. Third one term for component present in the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm what is present? Cell organelles are present, cell organelles are present. Fourth one, it separates the contents of the cell from the surrounding medium. What separates the cell from its surrounding medium? Obviously the cell membrane. So, cell membrane separates the cell from the surrounding medium. Cell membrane is the one which gives the particular shape, size and identity to the cell. Now come to the next one that is fifth one, it is back, empty structure in the cytoplasm. The vacant structure in the cytoplasm are nothing but the vacuoles. Now the sixth one, the living substance in the cell. The living substance in the cell is nothing but the protoplasm. The structure of the protoplasm is very very complex, actually it is made up of you know hydrogen, oxygen and all these molecules which and these molecules make the further compounds like maybe water, fats, proteins. So this protoplasm is a living part but you know as soon as this protoplasm is taken out from the cell it no longer remains a living part and its uh, characteristic changes change and so till now the exact structure of the protoplasm is not known although like uh, all, like many things are known but still the thing is that as soon as the protoplasm is removed out from the protoplasm we say that protoplasm is a living part but when it is taken out from a cell then it does not remain a living part and that is the reason some characteristics of the protoplasm change and we are not able to find the exact thing what is there in the protoplasm but still it contains many molecules, it is made up of different molecules and these molecules in turn make the compounds. Now come to the seventh one, a group of cells, just now we have studied a group of cells is known as tissues. Come to the eighth one, units of inheritance present on the chromosome. They are talking about the minute structure which is present on the chromosome. 
these minute structures are responsible for the transfer of the genetic characteristics from one generation to the another generation you look like your parents why because of the genes which you have inherited from your parents so what is this this is genes this is eighth one and i think this is the last one so with this the question answers of the ncert are over and now we'll try and discuss certain questions which are not there in ncert but can help you to understand the chapter in a little better way so we'll move to the next certain extra questions